Hello everyone, welcome to a uh, new title, um, Hand of Fate. This is, uh, I believe, made by an indie developer utilizing the Unity engine, and um, it's a procedurally generated card type game. Uh, this is my first time playing it, so don't know too much about it. I know the adventure is completely based off your deck combined with the deck of the dealer to try to deal out your procedurally generated dungeons. So. Without further ado, uh, let's get started and see what the game holds for us. Ah, one more for the game. Come, sit. You have passed the thirteen gates. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here, yet I say, turn back. Very smooth intro. This is our dealer. And he's obviously got a deck of cards here. Uh, I believe I'm going to get one to start out with. Um, I don't know the controls, so apologies if I'm learning as I go, but I do pick on quick, or pick up the game quick, I should say. Um, let's get started. The game begins. One lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. Okay, so my only interaction seems to be the continue button. And that damn spider on the left. Here is the first member of my court, the Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. Okay. Deal me in. Let the cards fall where they may. We begin. You can always review your cards here. It's like I really don't have too much to begin with. Uh, during combat, press left mouse button to attack. I don't have a shield. Protection with no penalty to speed. Okay then. Let's begin moving. Fair Merith. I'm not surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. Okay, one day in a shady forest you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I'm Merith of the, for the Forest Folk. Uh, my people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask me? Um, well... I don't seem to be so well off on supplies or gold, so hmm, it's a, it, life I really don't need. I, I can make it, but what do I want to do? Supplies for food, which will go quick, or gold? Gold can be used to buy food, so let's guess for gold. All right, it's unlike adventure of negative coin. Very well, as you wish. Three cards okay 30 gold I'm sure you're grateful for that oh I am 40 and 25 so all right let's continue here <clears throat> two ways I can go here let's continue uh, heading right I was never a fan of illusion or pretense. Here, I'll make an exception. Also, enjoying your evening at a meal at a local cavern, a strange old man takes a seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin poorly disguised as a human. How nice. 
Wise and face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. Um, let's ask him what he wants. He needs to help me. Alright, so... Taps the staff on the ground, a shield materializes at my feet. There you go, old bean. Smells a warm grin reveals all his chipped and yellow teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Ah, I've acquired I a shield. I cannot expect you to get by without some protection. All right. So shields uh, with this trait allow the heroes to reflect, reflect projectiles back at the reflect or the attacker. So this one does have reflect. Uh, this must be performed with precise timing as the projectile draws near. Press Q to do that. Um, Q key reflect projectiles. Look for the green indicator above the hero's head. Weapons with this trait allow the hero to counter their foe's attacks. So that has counter as well. Um, Look for the green attack indicators. So Q basically for both actions. All right. You can so. now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. All right. So he snatched my pickled onion off my plate and sprints out the tavern door. <laughs> That right. first moment, that glinting weapon, the call to action, to adventure, truly, there is nothing like it. Okay, so there's a weapon laying next to a skeleton at the bottom of a canyon. Oh, I'm taking it. Watch me at the only Choose failure. From these options. Very carefully make your way to the bottom of the canyon. Alright, draw one weapon card. Sweet. Okay, we got a sword. Alright, damage 20, left mouse to attack. Alright, yes, I'd like to equip it. A moment to savor. That will make you much more effective. Now, I'd like to uh, tell everyone that this is not just a card game. This is going to get into fights. So, it is going to turn into an action third-person game. Every step you take consumes food, but you will also heal as you proceed. Alright, let's go. Your journey is well begun. This is what I was looking for. You show some aptitude for the game. Perhaps this will not be as boring as I thought. An ambush. Hardly fair, is it? Suddenly a tree falls across your path, blocking your way ahead. The dealer draws one monster card. Great, three of dust. Weapons bristle from the trees around you. Their wielders' faces obscured by the undergrowth. Give us your gold or die. Um, attack the cowardly band uh, for daring threaten me. Yeah, I think that sounds good. All right, so shout about a crowd, raise your weapon. Here we go. Battle begins. You can now counter your opponent's attacks. Hit the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. Okay, WCD move, right click is stun, left is attack, space to dodge and Q to counter. Simple enough. Ah, okay. Cheap shot at the beginning, but I'd like to think we had a nice win there.
All right, search uh, bodies for loot dealer dues draws uh, three gain cards. Inventory for one equipment. All right. Another shield. A strong left arm is as important as a strong right arm, after all. I already have a shield equipped, but sure, this one's really? fine. Is that what you're going to do? <laughs> Three food, I'll take it. And 15 health. A little extra health, but it is only a momentary respite. Uh, the question is, is it going to take me over 100? Nope. No damage. Hey, a shop. Shady Grove, off the beaten trail, find a traveling merchant looking to trade for one or with wandering adventurers. Uh, let's go. Okay, what do you have to offer me? If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. Doubles my healing, 35 bucks. Uh, a peasant's weapon, but effective nonetheless. A classical approach to dealing with crowds. Ooh, I like that. You press 2 to throw knives in 8 cardinal directions. We're going to purchase that. Artifacts provide powerful special abilities to use in combat, but it takes time to ready them. Okay, so healing cap is not a bad card. Um, let's go back. I want to see what we have food-wise. Uh, Eleven bucks for three food. Sure. Let's get started on food. Um. Yeah, that's a good item. I, I, I don't think I'll need it, but I'm not sure if I keep these items for later. I might, so I'm going to pick up the healing cap. Increasing the effect of one sort of magic with another. All you need is a channel for power, and it's simple enough. I might need some coins, so I'm not going to waste it all. I, I really should pick up more, but we'll see. Probably should have sold the uh, extra shield. But again, I don't know how many of these cards I keep. Ambush. What did you think would happen with a card called Ambush, eh? Me kicking a bunch of people's asses, I'm gonna get. I guess uh, a slight rustling behind you is all the warning you get for your life is in grave danger. Draw one monster card. Two of dust. Probably bandits. Alright, so everything except now I have an artifact. Where's for me? Victory. Handed victory. Who ambushed who? Searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realize that uh, one of your opponents is only pretending to be dead. Uh, yeah, let's kill him. <laughs> oh, of course. Son of a bitch. Take it by surprise, you're knocked to the ground. When you recover, you find yourself alone with the dead. Okay. I didn't take any health damage, but I didn't get anything either. Wow. I really sucked there. You have oh. reached my first champion. A good man, driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child. Kith and kin. 
From such dark and brittle iron I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. Okay, so he's stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. She can come in rage, making powerful, unblockable attacks. Uh, he also inspires his followers to steal gold on each hit. All right, so I guess don't get hit. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Hmm, three tokens on the line. Bring it. Four of dust, so four of these assholes. Let's see if I can fight. Jack of dust. Right. Some enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Get out of the way or stop them with your own counter. <laughs> Oh, cut my roll. Right. Down into the worms with him. <laughs> no Perhaps money. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. One champion has been sent to the cabinet. Yet we are only at the start of our road. You will face eleven more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. Few fall at the first hurdle, none reach the last. We have wagered, and you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. As you improve, so do I. Balance must be retained. I have to say, I am uh, very much liking the narration in this. This is very well done. Reminds me of Darkest Dungeon. Right, so let's see what we got. Captain of the Guards, River, Local Peasant, Dead King's Hall, Jack of Skulls, and the Devil's Choice. Alright, put them in my deck. Second token. See what we got here. Desperate measures. Fortune's breath, or fortitude's breath, I should say. That looks like a shield. Uh, medium armor. Awesome. I love medium armor. Uh, chains of rage. Neat. Mercenary contract. And uh, more medium armor. Guess I want to make sure I had equipment. All right. New challenges. Bandit attack. Maze of traps. That's a sh like a shitty place to be. And goblins. I can handle goblins. Shall we deal again? So, the adventures seem to take uh, eh, about 18 minutes or so. Um, from what I understand, uh, some of the playthroughs can be very quick. Um, 10 minutes or so. Uh, some of them can be longer, up to 30, 40 minutes. Um, I've heard mixed things about the game. I like it so far. The narration is very well done, and uh, it's a lot of fun. The artwork is uh, pretty well done as well. Um, I I'm looking forward to going through this title, so uh, hopefully this has been uh, a neat first look at this title, and uh, sorry I didn't come in with any uh, knowledge of, you know, mechanics or anything. You didn't hear me uh, read through a few couple things, but... Um, Hopefully this has been a good, you know, first time through. So, hand of fate. If there's anything you want to see, let me know. See you guys.